Hello again, it is Shay with the reviews that I am going to do of Greenleaf. I'm going to be doing a review of episodes one to three because, of course, I'm sorry, I had to binge watch. Um, I have gone a little bit further than one to three, but I'm just thinking I'm just going to just do one to three, make the video nice and short and sweet. So, Episode 1, Strange Currents, picks up where um, Season 2 had ended and the Bishop wakes up smiling, he's reaching across the bed, no one's there um, and then Rochelle's hand appears on his shoulder and it had us all believing that, you know, that they've done the dirty and that, but we quickly realised that, that they didn't, so that's fine. And by the way, how many pairs of glasses does Bishop have? Like, seriously, all his frames, they all match with, like, with, with his outfits. He's there wearing the blue with the blue and the green with the green. Oh, he's looking good, man. So, moving on. Charity. Um, she heard about Zora, and of course she comes in like saying, "I've been gone for one day. Y'all need me more than you think." Blah blah blah. That girl is just too much drama. Charity, come on, pull yourself together. You're too much. Anyway, Lady May and Grace they get into a row again about whatever. And, like, Grace says something, and May looks like she's about to hit her, like. And it was like, oh, God. You know, just going on to, um, about Zora and Isaiah, where Isaiah has been hitting Zora, he's been treating her really, really bad. I'm well, sorry. Behaviour breeds behaviour. When, um, Carissa hit Zora, or have we all forgotten about that? Because she did slap her across the face. And then when Sophia went to Jacob and told Jacob that Isaiah would hit Zora, what does Jacob go and do? He goes and punches Isaiah. You know, two wrongs don't make a right. But what kind of example are a family showing Zora? Of course, Zora's going to be in love with Isaiah because they're not treating her any different. They're not showing her that, like, you shouldn't be hitting um, people. So, you know, if you don't want your child to go out with somebody who's abusing them, don't abuse your children. But I ain't here to preach, I'm here to review, okay? So, um, Zora, still carrying on from her, she is grounded for life. No money, no phone, no nothing, 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 nothing. She ain't getting nothing. Oh, she's so in trouble because she's come back now, she's been found. Um... And everything, you know, she was, what, what, a few miles away from, like, the state line and that. So, Jacob's all like, no, 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 no phone, no nothing. She's there slamming up the door, you know, Zora, about, oh, am I allowed to eat? I can eat in this prison. Lord Jesus, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, she's there slamming up the door. Jacob's like, don't slam my door in my house. I might take it off the hinges. <laughs> I'm like, okay, do it. <laughs> um, and anyway, um, Rochelle, <laughs> later on, she's there going into Calvary. She's there walking past Karine, like, hi. <laughs> Karine's like, excuse me, you want to see the bishop? <laughs> and she's like, oh, um, Okay, she's like, yeah, I think he's busy. She's like, oh, oh all right then. So anyway, Kareem throws the bishop. Bishop's like, oh, yeah, let her right on in. Yeah, that's fine. It's like, oh. <laughs> was like, look at me, like Moses, parting seas, left or right. <laughs> like, oh. And Kareem's like, mm-hmm. And so anyway, <laughs> Rochelle's there trying to take the mail from Corinne. And Corinne's like, no, it's all right. I've got it. It's fine. You better take your hand off it. <laughs> <So> <laughs> anyway, Rochelle goes in. Um, and Bishop is like telling her, you know, we need to start keeping our distance. And that people are starting to get a bit like, oh, you know, things are happening. So... 
Grace walks up to Karen while um, Rochelle is still in the office and Karen's like, oh, is the bishop busy? And Karen's like, no, go right in. <laughs> Karen's like, mm -hmm. let me just see how this drama's gonna play out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then um, Grace opens up the door and she's like, uh, 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 oh, <laughs> okay, what are you doing in here? And then she's like, oh, I'm just leaving. It's like, yeah, you better get on out, get your backside out of there. So, anyway. <laughs> Britney, it's Britney, bitch. Oh my God, the treasurer. I think she's the treasurer. They're getting into another money round and everything. Britney is there having a go at Jacob. Two-faced Tasha goes walking and she's just like, oh, she never spoke to Macy like that. You should fire her. <laughs> it's like, okay. But then to Britney's face, you're all nice. Psh, whatever, two-faced Tasha. Move from me. Gwe. Um, then, what happens is, Kevin, right, Kevin, you know, he, it's hard, it's hard coming out, especially not like when you're, you know, you're in a religious family and everything, I know, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, but, he does have a child and he ran out on his child, Okay? Right, let's not keep on punishing him for that because he has come back now, you know, he's getting himself together and that. But, you know, he keeps, like, threatening about, like, oh, you know, um, going to court and, and taking charity to court. Really, to be fair, I don't think he's got, like, a leg to stand on. He wouldn't be able to have full custody. No way. Because with everything that, that happened, um, charity has been more than accommodating you know, with, like, having him look after um, Kevin. He could stay at the mansion as well for as long as he needed to until he found a place and that. So, you know, he is being quite unreasonable, to be fair, in regards to um, to Nathan and, and making threats about court because it, it just wouldn't... It wouldn't stand up in, in, a, um, in a cold breeze, never mind a, a court of law. You know, he'd, he's run out on his child, so, you know, I don't even know why Charity's getting all scared about it, anyway, um, the IRS, that was one of the letters that was in the mail, and, um, it turns out, Calvary owe two million dollars, two million, it's just like, you know, so then James Bishop, he, he goes running to um, to Lady May and she's like, she's there cussing him out. She had like this long speech, which she obviously had been practising for like ages. Oh, so you took your time to come in here. and look, look. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Just leave it. Let it go, man. Anyway, they were just like, oh, um, we need to ask Clara um, to come round and beg her for a Powerball money and everything. So, yeah. Um, they're doing that. So, Jacob and um, Carissa are together. Jacob's phone is ringing after a lot. All his phones are ring, 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 ring. And it's Bishop, Lady Mae and Grace, all telling them the same thing. And Carissa's like, what's going on? What's going on? Tell me, tell me. And it's just like, Carissa, just wait till he gets off the phone before he starts asking him questions all the time. Oh, anyway, also as well, Darius and Grace, I'm so over them. Done. Um... Lady May <laughs> decides that she's not going to go to church, right? On the Sunday, she's like, yeah, I ain't going to church. And that she's like, what do you young people say? I can't even. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Lady May. She cracks me up. And um, Connie, one of the deacons, she says to Grace, oh, I hope your mum's okay. And uh, Grace is like, oh, mama has a cold. Then Bishop, when he comes on to do, like, his sermon, is like, oh, um, Lady May, um, 
He's a little rock visiting family. And then Connie's looking at Grace like, hmm, you told me she had a cold. And like, Bishop's like, so let's all say, you know, amen and wish her the best and everything. And then like, Connie's like, mm hmm, amen. <laughs> and then Grace is like, oh, <laughs> oh no. So they're lying up in the church, you know, lying. Anyway, Lady May, she goes to Triumph, where her son, um, Jacob is, is, um, is preaching and she goes to walk in and then she decides against it and she comes back out and then Tasha is like sorting out like all the food and like offering a tea and that and May's like oh you're disgusted you used to be the first lady and um Tasha's just like what do you mean and she's like well they've got you here doing this now and she was saying well you know there was this woman who was um who was the first lady and her husband left her for a younger model and everything she went and moved into this nasty horrible place and then she fell down the steps she can't talk and then like her eye you see her eye her eye her eye is like this she's like see the eye the eye <laughs> like, like, yeah we're getting it all right then see her boy i'm off <laughs> zora zora's there teething up the money you know from the offering She's like, everybody's there saying their amen and, you know, like, um, doing their prayers and everything. And while everybody's eyes are closed, she had teeth up the money. And I'm like, oh, my God, Zora, no. Don't do it. Then, it's Britney, bitch. She starts going in at Jacob, having a go at him, blah, 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 blah. And that, and Carissa's there. And, um... Jacob's like, oh, you know what, Brittany? You're fired. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And Brittany's all like... And it's like, see ya. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. It's like, oh. So, Jacob. <coughs> done with Brittany. Bye. So, Kevin as well. Oh, God. Again, it's just too much. Is they saying to... Um, to charity you can't take my son on tour blah 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 that's kidnapping <sighs> just leave charity alone do you know what i mean she's just she's been through enough and then um she told jabari jabari's sulking he's like oh you signed the contract and she's like but this is my child yeah you put your child first anyway then um two-faced tasha is on the phone to Brittany, and then she's just like, oh, just let God, you know, ha look, just just give God the space, the time, and, and everything to do, whatever. And then um, Rochelle's, like, there, like, in the office as well. She gets off the phone with Brittany, and she's like, oh, that girl is so stupid. It's like, you know, why are you going to be so two-faced? Anyway, um, Rochelle, she's there, like, looking at laundry, um to wear for the bishop and that like she's really proper trying to she's like oh he had me all night and he didn't do anything and blah blah blah, blah. well good i'm glad i'm glad he didn't but i can't see it staying that way you know throughout the whole season something is going to happen and um yep yeah, lady may um says to bishop that he can move back in so it's just for face it's just to say face really about like this whole irs thing and and that that's going on right so that was the end of episode one so now we've got episode two which is the space between and it starts off with bishop is sleeping in the spare room and is there tossing and turning can't get comfortable my man decides to take himself back to the master bedroom you know where um where may is and um is there saying to may Oh, I can't sleep on that couch. It's like sleeping on cold canuts. And she's like, well, you know, you better go and sleep on the couch. Because just because we're pretending to everybody else doesn't mean that we're going to pretend with each other. No, 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 no. So, bye-bye. You're not sleeping in this bed. You can move. <laughs> and anyway, and then um, bumps into Grace. And Grace is like, you know, just like sneaking in from, from Darius's. So, oh, okay. All right, girl. Um, and then, like, Grace phones, um, Rochelle, and it's a case of her being, like, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. 
because she's just like, oh, you know, if she's up in, if she's up in the church already, we might as well make use out of her. So she's there, like, with her fake voice, um, saying about like, oh, you know, I do have a project in need of an angel. <laughs> that, and like, Sophia's like, what? Why are you doing that? That fake voice. So you know, Sophia, Sophia is, she's proper clued up, man. I do like Sophia. She's proper. She's on it. Reminds me of my daughter, actually. She's very, mm, can't get anything past her. Um, anyway, Zora, um, goes to Jacob and Carissa. Oh, can I borrow your phone? And it's just like, what, to phone Isaiah? And, um, she's like, no, I want to phone to Sophia. I want to say sorry and blah, 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 blah. You know, it's time that we made it up. Anyway, she takes the phone off Jacob, goes to walk off, like, click, click, click. And he's like, uh, 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 you can make that phone call right there, sir. And she's like, you know what, it's okay. And hands back the phone. So, obviously, do you want to phone Sophia? You know what I mean? She's not even pretending. And then, we switch back to, um, to May, Lady May and Grace, arguing again. She's like, you hear tiptoeing around Memphis and everything, sipping with this and the other. And it's like, oh, God. You know, how can she hate her daughter so much? Like, she actually hates her. And I think I know why. And I'll talk, I'll talk about that later on. I'll talk about it later on. But she just, she absolutely, like, despises her. Like, everything about Grace. Grace only has to look at her, you know. And Lady Mary's like, don't even look at me. And it's like, well, <laughs> you know, I, I think I know why. And like I said, I'll talk about it later. So, they're going to, um, to Calvary. And, like, um, Bishop's like, yeah, it's showtime. And they're like, oh! And then Connie, Deacon Connie, she's just like, Lady May, I don't know whether to say welcome back or glad you're feeling better. And she's just like, well, Grace, tell me that you was ill. Bishop said you was out of town. May's like, basically, I was both. I was ill and out of town. Bye. No more talking to you. Anyway, um, didn't they know that Clara is um Corrine's grandmother so um Lady May's like can you ask your um ask your nana to come round for dinner and that so that we can ask her for some mm, do, 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 money so that's fine um Grace and Rochelle they meet up and the project that Grace wants Rochelle to do is setting up a legal fund for abused women and um, Rochelle's like oh you know I'm so happy that both of us could work together and that most women don't like to work with me and Grace is like oh how come and she's just like oh other women like like see me as a threat but I'm glad that you know that we're on the same page and you know we can we can be on a level and everything and work together. So I'm so so happy. I'm excited about this project coming together. So then what happens is Rochelle bumps into Bishop and he's like, Yeah, I'm back home. And she's like, Oh, great. Mm -mm. No, it's not great. It's not great. Cause the plan ain't working. So um later on lady may's coming down the stairs up pops rochelle and she's just like oh i hope everything's okay with zora and she's like they're thinking well how do you know about zora how do you know about our family business you better keep your nose out and um then she was just like oh I've, i think i've i've said too much and lady may's like you ain't said enough and she's like, oh, look at me thinking that I'm important. I best just be going then. Look at that, just dripping the poison very, very slowly so that people don't even notice it's like drip, drip. You, you don't know. You don't know that I'm putting this poison in, but drip. Anyway. Um, oh, Carissa. Right, I don't know how she's going to be able to cope with being first lady. It, it's really sad. It's really, really sad. Because for us women, we have to be everything. You know, we have to be um, working 
looking after the children, looking after the house and doing, we can't just be doing like just one thing. And then if you drop the ball with, you know, one of your tasks that you're supposed to be doing, then you might as well just not do anything because then you're just seen as a failure. I don't know how Carissa is going to be able to juggle being first lady and um, running this school as well because two of the parents came in. They're just like, oh, Jeremy, get, Jeremy got a B. And that, and a B is a good grade to have. And they're just like, no, we wanted to go to Yale or whatever. You need to be getting an A. So then, like, Carissa's just like, you know, well, I'll get you a tutor. And they're like, well, what are you going to do about it? She's like, I just told you. She's like, she hasn't even read it. They produce the essay. Give it to Carissa. Tell her, read it. So then she's got to read it. Then she's like, for the triumph meeting. And that. And it was Jacob and Tasha that was doing the Trife meeting. The Trife meeting concluded and everything. Carissa's come running in. And um, then Ethel is introduced to Carissa. And Ethel's like, oh, are you new to Triumph as well? And Carissa's like, no, I'm first lady. She turns to Tasha, she's like, I thought you were first lady. And then like, Tasha's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Awkward. So she rushes off Ethel and that. And of course, Carissa's all like, mm-hmm. You know, that was awkward. What am I going to do? So we'll leave that to to wherever. Anyway, um, Charity wants to go on tour. Kevin's like, leave Nathan with me. Charity's just like, no. What about if you run out on him again and you just leave a mess or you just disappear? So whatever. Um, Clara goes round to, um, to dinner with the bishop and Lady May and they're all like, ah nice and stuff like that Kay was like something's off kilter so then um the bishop and lady my straight away are thinking that oh they're talking about the chemistry between them two oh no we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine and then like Kay was like oh it's the paintings you change them and they're like oh, yeah <laughs> okay so the asker um for the two million they're like you know the devil's always busy and she's like you two don't have it and it's like well probably got a couple hundred thousand but you know it's not going to pay the two million because that's including um like interest and everything as well so oh, she's just like okay yeah i'll think about it anyway in the end she's just like yeah well, i'll go and see my money manager and sort it out right jacob is there looking for a present for Carissa? Because, you know, she's been working so hard and everything, blah, blah, blah. So, and Tasha comes in and she's just like, oh, you know, she's like, oh, jewellery. You're going to get jewellery for her. It's like, oh, should I have a look for jewellery on the internet? She's like, you can't find jewellery on the internet. What are you on about? You're crazy. Come down to my jewellery. You'll get champagne and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they go there. He has a look at something. She's like, oh, that says that, like, you know, I like you. Um... And that, but this one says, you are my world. Oh, the, the necklace was ugly. I'm sorry, it looked like costume. It looked like costume. It had the pearls and it had the, oh, it was vile. Anyway, Tasha puts it on. And then it's just all like, <laughs> And now, he takes a photo of her with it. So, hold that thought and we will get back to it. Anyway, um, Charity is at Carissa's house. And she's there moaning about Kevin and Carissa, you know, all right. To be fair, look, yeah, Carissa can be really whatever all the time. But she did say to her, you have said before that Kevin is a good father. So anyway, when Jacob returns, he's like, hi, comes in. And like, Carissa's like, you've been drinking? And he's like, what's with all the questions? You asked too many questions. Anyway. Um, Sophia and Zora are in, um, her bedroom. And then, um, they're there chatting and getting on well again. And then Zora's just like, oh, can you give, to, give us all the money that she teeth from the offering? And says, can you get me one of those prepaid phones? Sophia's like, no. Because you obviously want to just call Isaiah. He doesn't treat you well. He hits you. He treats you like rubbish. And that, what, why are you with him? So... 
She was just like, I'm going crazy. I can't go on the internet. I can't watch the TV. Blah, 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 blah. You can't or you won't do it. And she's like, I won't. So I'm like, good on you, Sophia. Anyway, Sophia um, speaks to Jacob and Carissa. And, um, you know, persuades them to give Zora a television. And that's so then Zora's there, like, in her bedroom, like, reading a book. And, that like, it brings in the TV. And she's just like, oh, what's this? And he's like, don't ask. No questions. And um, <laughs> she puts the TV on. Then she's thinking something about puppies that are on there. She goes to turn it over. And it's retreated. <laughs> so, like, they've given her a little bit. Of what she wants, but then it's not everything that like what she wants and stuff. So she might as well not have it. It's funny. It is. It's kind of funny in a way. So, oh, Grace and Darius. Oh, God. I'm so I'm so over them. And what happened to Noah and Isabel? Like they just sort of just disappeared off the face of the earth. I don't understand what happened there. But oh God, I'm just I'm so over. Um, Grace and Darius, but anyway, um, they're just set together. Um, Grace was like, Oh, I'm gonna go back home, um, because my mum was like having like a go at me, blah 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 blah. And that, and he was like, Oh, okay. So then they, they go on talking about Rochelle, and Darius was just like, Well, do you think that it's probably your dad that's leading Rochelle on? And Grace is like, No, daddy would never do that. So she's getting all funny about it, but you know, nobody is an angel. And your daddy ain't an angel. Well, mm, like I was gonna say. So she was just like, Yeah, I'm gonna go. And he was just like, He goes, Don't be a hypocrite. And that, you know, don't be like them. Don't try and make out that we're not sleeping together when we are sleeping together. You know, you're being a hypocrite. She's like, Thanks for that. And he's like, For what? She's like, making it easier to leave okay yeah whatever bye go so um then when um clara had left and that um my starts going what did you tell her and he's like you heard everything me and um <laughs> she's like not clara rochelle She's like, you were with her at the Biltmore, weren't ya? You were crying to her. <laughs> I was like, oh, she gets so angry. And it's like, look, it goes, you are creating this relationship. You know, she's like, only God creates from nothing. I'm just trying to clear up your mess. And it's like, oh, are they ever going to get over this? They're never going to get over this because that's what May is doing. She is actually pushing James into Rochelle's arms, you know, Rochelle hasn't really got to do anything now, you know, she just, uh, just sit back and wait, um, and that because Lady May is doing it all for, she's doing all the hard work for her, so the necklace, Carissa and Jacob, um, he pulls out the box, and that, uh, and she's just like, oh, is this where you were? And it was like, yeah. And they do champagne as well. He opened it up and I thought, Carissa is going to hate this necklace. She's going to be like, it's freaking ugly. Take it back. Get your money back. I'll exchange it. No. She's like, oh, it's beautiful, Jacob. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Meet me in the bedroom. So, like, oh, okay. Anyway, he gets out his phone. There's a picture of um, Tasha wearing the necklace. He's like, oh, delete, delete, delete. Because we're not going back down that road again. Where, like, Carissa's there finding out things like on, on your phone and you probably send it by accident or something. Like you did before, Jacob. Or not have to learn from your mistake then. So, they're getting it on. Um, and that. Grace, she does go back home. And she goes and speaks to her dad. Um, and that. And, um... She's there going, you know, you did have an affair with auntie. You need to give um, mama the, the respect that she needs and everything. He's like, oh, God, God, I'm sick of everybody having a go at me about it. You know, St. May and that. Uh, you know, St. May had an affair with Lionel. FYI. So they're telling her. And then he sat back with like his and he's like, yeah, move. Move out of the way of the television. And she's like, yes, sir. Anyway, she goes up grace to see lady may 
And she asked, like, did you have an affair with Lionel? And Mai's like, I can't believe that, man. So, um, she's like, well, I'm going to assume that you do. Well, let me tell you something. I'm done feeling bad. I'm done feeling wrong. I'm done feeling dirty. I'm done. She's like, I'm done. And then she's out of there. Now, let me tell you my theory. I think that Lionel is Grace's dad. I really do. Because look at Aaron. They look alike. Aaron and Grace look alike. And why does my hate Grace so much? Because Lionel's her dad and May absolutely hates Lionel. The way that like she looks at him and everything and she's just like, mm, and that is her daddy. And that's going to come out, man. That's going to come out. And I've got a feeling that Lionel might be Faith's dad as well. Because like, Faith hasn't been spoken about that much in, in season three, which I'm a bit sad about. But I understand that, you know, it's going to move on. You know, everybody's going to move on. You know, when when somebody dies, you can't you can't carry on talking about them all the time. But I think that um, Faith and Grace, they are both Lionel's children, and that and that's going to come out later on. And that is why May absolutely hates Grace. She can't stand her. Absolutely hates her. So, um. Anyway, Charity, she takes Nathan, baby Nathan, to Kevin's new pad um, or crib or uh, apartment um, and that. And then Aaron, like, walks in with the shopping or, as um, our American friends say, groceries um, and that. And then Charity's just like, no, 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 you're not having the baby. And that's so... Um, of course, she um, she has to let Jabari down again, um, and that. Um, then we go on to the next day. Rochelle and Grace are having a meeting and talking about like you know like their legal fund and getting on well. And then Grace goes and ruins it by saying, "There's something going on with you and my father." So of course, Rochelle kicks off saying, "Oh God, why was I so stupid to think that a woman of my generation?" We'll be able to see past that um, and that. But, you know, she said um, something about the pa or something like that. It was just, it was like she proper cussed her out, like proper. And that, uh, anyway, she she storms out and then she calms down. And, she, and then, like, she's like, and then she returns and she went, look, this is the work of the Lord. And that, uh, let's just put our differences aside. Let's just try and get everything all sorted. And Grace is like, yeah, amen. God is good all the time anyway may storms into um bishop's office he's there like on the phone she's like get off the phone and he's like oh, can i just put you on hold puts her on hold you had an affair with me oh, here we go again i'm sick of it anyway she was just like, you went and told Grace the only secret that I had and the only reason why I committed that sin is because you had broken my heart so completely by sleeping with my sister. And it was just like, oh, God. Anyway, it's like, I'm, I'm sick of hearing about it. I'm done. I'm done hearing about it. So she goes to him, look, once this IRS thing is all over, I am divorcing your black ass. And it's like, oh, okay. So anyway, she walks off and then she's like, don't leave your corner on hold. It's rude. Credits. I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's how you're going to end it. So we move on now to my last um, review, which is going to be episode three. And that's the chain of command. So starts off with Grace, May and Sophia. They're there at the breakfast table and that. Sophia's like, you, you know, you can feel the tension, like, in the air. And Sophia's like, oh, I'm glad the rain has stopped. Grace is like, yep, everything washed clean. Sophia's like, I'm out. All right, then I'll see you later. Um, and they decide to have supper together, May and Sophia, later on in the day. So then um, May gets her mail from um, Marisol. 
and now she looks at it, her face changes, and we see on there that they're divorce papers, like, you know, she's been served a divorce, and Grace is like, Mama, what is it? And May's like, Mind your own goddamn business, bitch. That's what it was like. It was like, mind your business. So, you know, I went to like my Kevin, like, spirit then. But whatever, it was funny. Um, for me, anyway, I thought it was funny. But whatever. <laughs> then Mai goes speeding off like in the car. And then that's it. She's gone for the day. She is gone. Um... She goes to see a lawyer, um, and that, and, um, like, the lawyer is just like, look, I've represented, um, quite a few, um, first ladies in my time, and I don't care what you've done, don't, don't care how many, um, hands you shook, uh, you know, you're not gonna get what you deserve, okay? So, you know, let it be known that you are Cinderella. And my dad, what do you mean? And she was like, the party is over. The party done. It's done. You're not going to get what you deserve. So think on it. Um, anyway. Um, Bishop's there going into, um, into work, into Calvary. So asking everybody, oh, have you seen Lady Mai? Have you seen Lady Mai? And they're like, no, no, we haven't seen her. We haven't seen her. God is good all the time. And, um... So, Charity is in um, Bishop's office and she's like, Daddy, I want to talk. And, like, he's like, morning, Charity. She's like, yeah, morning. Anyway, she's there going on now, again, um, that she wants to preach. And he's like, uh-uh-uh. You don't, your preaching is a calling. It's not a plan B. Remember I told you. So, she's all like, oh, you know. And I feel sorry for Charity because she just she doesn't know where she belongs. She doesn't know where she's supposed to be. I think, you know, she should just carry on with, like, her singing. Pursue her own career. Um, and that, and just stop getting involved with, with the man then. Because they obviously just, they, they, they only want her for one thing. And that, and she deserves more than that. So, what she needs to do, concentrate on her child for now. Concentrate on what she wants to do. So probably go to training, teach singing, do her album, do her own thing. That's what she needs to do. She needs to become her own person now and stop relying on man because they ain't going to do it for you. Because as soon as you don't do what they want you to do, bye-bye. Bye, you're gone. So, well, I feel look after themselves first. So, um, Miss Lawson who's one of Rochelle's clients, gives a whole heap of money to um, to Grace's cause, and she's like, I would have given more, but Rochelle was just like, just wait until like later on, there'll be a chance to, to give more money. So it's going really, really well um, with this legal fund for um, abused women. Um, Bishop comes in, he tells Grace that um, that is given Lady my divorce papers, and that, so... God, and he was only doing it just to just to scare her, you know what I mean? Just to just to show something of you know, just to make a, a gesture for her for for May to come, you know, running and crawling back, and that which is really really out of order, cruel. Um, and then Tasha at Triumph um, goes to uh, sorry, no, her name's Two Face Tasha. Um, walks into into Jacob's office and she's like, mm, you know, I think there's been some stealing like going on with like the money. Jacob knows who it is straight away. Straight away, he knows that it's his daughter Zora. And um, then we find that um, Lady May she goes to a blues bar. She spends all day there. And she gets drunk. She's there talking to um, these women, saying about how um, do they know Maxine Patterson? And they're like, oh yeah, the lady that's on um, TV that you know that preaches and stuff like that. Yeah, we used to be friends one time, and that we was going to go to the school of divinity, and that. And um, I decided not to go because I fell in love. So she was talking about James Bishop, um, and that. So she decided to stay. And now look where she is. She didn't go and pursue her own dreams. 
and that. And I think this is what charity needs to learn from. Go and pursue your own dreams and that. Sort out yourself. Make sure that you're proud of yourself. And then somebody will come along and love you for you. Remember that. Anyway, um, charity called, talking about charity, she calls Jabari and that she starts complaining. Jabari's like, no, I gotta jump. He's not interested in any of her problems. He's not interested in her and that selfish, selfish. But he's done with her anyway. He doesn't even want her. Um, and that, um, Grace and Darius, they make up again. Moving on. Um, Lisa Nolan, she's a journalist. And that, she's supposed to be coming to see May about how women are rising up in business and do a piece on that. And she's got to hand that in. Like, you know, like the deadline's coming. So, Grace steps in. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then Bishop goes to see Jacob at Triumph. And he tells Jacob about um, the divorce papers and that. And another thing about like charity as well, they do keep on leaving her out of stuff. And I understand that she's dramatic and that she's too much. And then sometimes, you know, you just, you have to gear yourself up to tell charity something. Um, and that's so that you're ready for it because if you if you're not if you're not ready for for charity and her drama and that you know it's just going to just you know really really upset you so I understand but they can't keep on leaving charity out of everything so um charity connects Nathan and Aaron's there and that, and um, there's like this giraffe called Sophie, and he's like, oh, um, Nathan, he hasn't put, he hasn't put her down ever since I gave her to him. She's like, mm, well, it can be something that she can have when, you know, when he's here. And he goes on to tell her that, um, that he's got a new job and he's going to be moving in with Kevin, but Kevin's out at the shops anyway. Um, and that she, and she was just like, okay, yeah, it's fine. It's not going to be awkward. I've got to go. I've got to go. So, <clears throat> she goes off and she just takes Sophie as well. Anyway, um, Jacob, he tells Carissa that Zora has been um, stealing the money. And Carissa's like, no, Zora's a good girl. She's going through a hard time, like, at the moment. Um, and that, but she's not a thief. Okay. Um, and that... Um, May calls Sophia and says, sorry I missed supper with you um, and everything and that. She's like, oh, it's okay, but um, Grandad wants to speak to you. Bishop comes on the phone. May, May. <laughs> she cuts off the phone. And that Bishop, James man, he, he can't half, like, he just always has to pretend and put a show on. So he's still there, like, on the phone, like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. She'd already cut off the call, and you're just there pretending in front of your granddaughter. You know, Sophia ain't stupid, so don't treat her like she is. So, May goes off to um, a motel room, because, you know, she don't do books. So it was clean. And that, and who's on the TV preaching? Maxine Patterson. Brilliant. Um, so then Charity is like, she's all over the place. And that she goes driving with Nathan in the car to go and see Jabari at rehearsal. And that Jabari's like, what, what are you doing here? I'm busy. I'm busy. And then, like, Charity's like, what, well, you're busy with her? Because there's this woman that's on the stage, like, singing. Sorry, I just had a call um, on my phone. So this is going to be in two parts now. I'm going to have to try and merge them. Anyway, um... So, yeah, the woman's there, like, on stage, like, singing and, and everything. And that she's like, oh, well, you're busy with her. And it's like, um, she signed a contract. I signed a contract with her. I'm going to uh, adhere to it. That was a dig. That was a really, really big, that was horrible. That was, that was, it was like, oof. Oh, no, that was nasty. Um, so... She was just like, well, well, what about me? Then we'll just, you know, tag along. And he's like, that's not going to work. And um, she was like, well, I thought you loved me. And he goes, I did. It was like, baby, when I used to love you. It's like, oh, no. By charity. Poor charity. is like, no, we're done. 
we're done it's over it's over so she's off there like crying and everything she's like nobody wants me how about you want yourself how about that um so two-faced tasha and rochelle are there like at a bar like talking and we find out that it was rochelle that um got the irs case reopened and that and she's like you know and tasha's like well don't you feel bad bad for your soul what about god and she's like, oh, please, um, the Greenleys have been making a mockery of religion for two generations. And if it carries on as well, it's going to be three generations with um, Gracie's um, child and everything. It's like, oh. So, yeah, she's really, 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 like, upset about it. She's, she's like, you know, um, Bishop killed my daddy for a paycheck from an insurance man and that what about their soul i know where my soul's at kill my daddy and base daddy no backsliding two-faced tasha so yeah she was telling her off about that um darius did like a sort of check on um on rochelle and um it turns out she checks out yeah she's all real and everything so she's probably had a name changed by d pole or something but you know she knows a lot of people in a lot of high and low places so that's probably why you know all like paperwork and everything on the face of it on systems and that she's gonna check out you know this girl with this woman this woman she ain't messing you know she is making sure that all of her eyes are dotted and her t's are crossed and that, mm -mm, no getting, no getting one over her, no way. Um, but he also checked out as well all like the churches that have been avoiding tax, and Calvary is right at the top of the list. So they in trouble. Um, Jacob, he knows it's all with that that stolen the money. So he goes bang, 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 bang. I thought she wasn't supposed to be locking up this door. Blah blah blah. Anyway, is that he completely trashes Zora's bedroom? Right, is there saying, Where's the money? Where's the money? Zora is blatantly putting her hand in a fire. My mum used to say that. He would put his hand in fire and say he didn't do it. She's there saying, No, I haven't got the money. 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 I don't know what he's talking about. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Oh my gosh. He trashed the room, found all this money that she'd been taking from. Um, from the offering and that and it's just like you know what what is going on like with with this girl and it's just it's so horrible and it's such a shame and that that you know that she's so in love with this horrible man but you know those who don't hear have to feel and that and she's gonna feel it one day hopefully you know she'll come back around and dump Isaiah's ass and move on and that um may goes into calvary so we're in the next day now and um she sees the newspaper and um grace's face is on the front page of the um interview that may should have been doing really and that and she's all like because we know how much she hates grace so she goes to see bishop and bishop's plan has completely backfired that like May, Lady May, she's not even angry anymore. And I think that's worse. She's just like, she's accepted it and she's like, I'm ready to move on. And that I can't have you keep on plucking at this web that, you know, where you construct my life. So, you know, my lawyers had to look at it and that. And James, he's crying the real tears. Those are real, they're silent, silent tears just coming down the eye like that and then that was it cut to black so that was my review of green leaf season three episodes one to three because i have been binge watching so if you've been here this long for like 40 odd minutes then thank you for taking the time to listen to me and i will see you again doing the review of the next few episodes take care bye bye